Come on in. Good morning and welcome to Trans West Truck Trailer RV. My name is Katie O'Neill and I am so excited about today's video. Uh, so as you all know, I have a Super C. I love Super C's. And every time I have something come in that is just so fantastic and unique, I just get so thrilled. And today is nothing short of a fantastic day. Uh, so welcome to Frederick, Colorado. Uh, as usual, I'm going to start my video from the inside out. So Jody, go ahead and take her on back. You are tuning in to Trans West's Truck Trailer RV. We do three videos a day. We do a truck, a trailer, and an RV. And sometimes we do a few RVs because we've got a lot of RVs. Um, all of that being said, anything from a Navion all the way up through a Supreme Air, uh, we have so much inventory right now. But one of the most exciting aspects of today's video is that we are in a 38 LDG. So this is a really hard to come by Verona LE. Um, the way that manufacturing works with Verona is basically there's a few different lines that have to be running uh, in order to produce these coaches. And being that the Explorer has been so popular, it shares a production spot with the LE. That being said, there's not a lot of LEs out there in the marketplace, but we have fantastic alloc uh, allocation. We've been selling LEs for a really long time. And this 38 LDG is one of my very, very favorite floor plans. It's very much like the, the first Renegade that I had in that it has a rear master bedroom, a mid bath, and then doors on either side separated into your galley. But one of my favorite parts about this uh, RV is gonna be the fact that you have a separate toilet and shower area from your get ready area where your sink is. Um, all of that being said, the best part about uh, the Renegade product, of course, is it's 20,000 pound towing capacity, 150 gallons of fresh water, 75 gallons of gray water, 75 gallons of black water, and also the amount of weather proofing this coach has. Um, so in my Verona, I had a 250D aqua hot unit. The Verona LE has a 450D aqua hot unit and it's running hydronic heat. So during the summer months, you've got two 15,000 BTU air conditioners with heat pumps. And during the winter months, you have hydronic heat. So definitely great heat sources. But during the summer months in the LE, you also get that ceiling fan, which is a really, really, really nice feature. So absolutely love that aspect of this coach. Um, another great aspect of this coach though is when you're running hydronic heat and you have thermostatically controlled bays, keeping everything warm, what's really nice is you don't have to heat your water supply because guess what? It's right here under the bed. So we love this feature as well. So this is two 75 gallon freshwater tanks. And what's nice about that is because they're housed inside of the coach, of course, you don't have to worry about them being so susceptible to freezing. Now there are heat strips, there's 12 volt heat strips on our gray and black water tanks that are outside as well. Uh, so we'll take a look at those later. Now you'll notice on either side, we do have nightstands with this fantastic bat lit um, sconces on either side of the bed, giving you just a really beautiful soft glow. I love the tufted bedspread. Uh, this is a really, really nice mocha interior. This is new for 2023. Uh, the cabinets are not new though. They are just as solid and tried and true as usual. And if you look back here, you have so much space in these overhead cabinets. I'm just gonna give you a quick idea of depth because it's really actually very impressive. Woo, here we go. So let's go ahead and call that 18 inches. So a foot and a half deep all the way across your bunks. These are of course a little bit deeper, but that's so much storage room. You'll also notice that we have MCD shades with opening windows on either side of the bed. So really nice cross ventilation available. And then with both of these nightstands, you'll also see that we have two 110 outlets, a USB port, and also a type C. So super cool that we have that extra functionality. Another nice thing about this iRelax mattress is how comfortable it is. It's a really cool uh, memory foam mattress. For those of you who have a hard time with soft or firm, this is both. It's a really, really nice high-end mattress. You will not need to replace this if you get this coach. I know a lot of people will buy an RV and say, oh, can I get a new mattress for it? Not gonna be necessary in this RV. Now, once again, we're talking about these full extension drawers here. You'll notice that a lot of manufacturing, have, have, they've left that dovetailing behind. Renegade is still doing their full extension dovetail drawers with soft clothes. There are four of these. All of them are gonna be the same size. So when you're looking at your drawer space here, you're looking at almost 15 inches 
by 20 and then a height clearance of about seven inches as well. So really big storage here in this bedroom. And that's just the smaller set of drawers. You've got four of these and then you've got two long drawers. So these are also really, really nice. Uh, when we talk about storage, you know, there's a lot of places that you can put your shoes, but this would be a great place at 31 inches long. And then 13 inches deep. I mean, you could have the whole entire family could have one bottom drawer here of all of those tennis shoes. And then if you've got hiking boots, this is just a great cabinet for hiking boots. That's where we kept ours. I also like the fact that this uh, really nice dresser also has two 110 outlets here. And then I have the day shade down. But I do want to show you this beautiful nightshade because it's so nice the way that they've done this where it actually ties into the decor. Um, and then here in your wardrobe closets, these are very substantial. Uh, overall depth here of 25 inches across. And then in terms of a height, what's really nice about this is you could keep all your coats and jackets here. But over here, we actually have a floor that is removable. So if you have wetsuits or any kind of ski bibs, any of those longer things, maybe ball gowns, because you know, we all use ball gowns when we go camping. Uh, you've got plenty of storage here. So three total closets in this RV in just the bedroom alone. So great space there. Now we're gonna get into one of the better parts of this RV. Jody, I'm gonna close you in. Okay, so separation of space, right? You can go ahead and sleep in, dear. I'm gonna get up early and get ready to make coffee. Maybe I'm gonna take a shower. So if I wanna take a shower and have some privacy, oops, let me go ahead and pop this little bad boy up. Um, I can close this. And so now I have a place where I can still have walkthrough. So in other words, I can use the toilet or I can use a shower and the person in the bedroom who decides to get up and make coffee, they can walk through. They're not going to interrupt me in whatever I'm doing in this room. So we really, really like that as well. Uh, up here above the toilet, this is a great place for some RV toilet paper or any of that treatment that you wanna use for your tanks down below. You've got your touch flush here. You've got a, uh, you've got a low flush, like an eco flush and then a normal. And then as you can see here, really nice porcelain toilet. Uh, good sitting room, which is of course is always important. And then you've got fan control right here on your wall. So you can go ahead and turn on your lights, you can run your water pump, or you could put your fan up and down right here. Now another great feature of the Renegade, of course, is this 35 inch uh, shower. This is a really nice shower, especially in that if you have naughty children, you just put them in here and then you close this and then you just close this and then they can't get out. No, I'm just kidding. Don't do that. That's not good. No, but what is really nice about this is this magnetic uh, uh, seal right here. If you want to keep that nice warm air in there, you can. You've also got your skylight. You'll notice that the wand is on an adjustable uh, slide and there's also a soap dish affiliated with that. Another great new feature that we've added um, in my 2020, if you leaned back against the spigot, it would turn the water off. Now it's turn on and turn off and you, you don't have to worry about turning the water off when you're sitting down to shave your legs. I also like the fact there's a top soap dish um, and, or a place to keep a toothbrush and then down below it's got that little bar that's such a big difference maker because it allows you to keep your shampoo and your conditioner in there. Uh, but as you can see, you could be a really tall person of which I am of course not, but you could be and you'd still have plenty of room and it's a really big area in the shower. And again, you know, one of the things I really like about my Renegade is that I can sit down, wash my feet, shave my legs and get ready to go for the day very comfortably in this space. So plenty of room in here. Um, I do typically have a preference for the square showers, but in all honesty, when push comes to shove, this is just a great design with plenty of room in it and 35 inch uh, uh, measurements. Now I love this as well. Look at all this tall storage space. So this is just great useful area. Um, again, these are really deep cabinets. This is over a foot deep. And then in terms of height, when I say tall, I know it's hard to get a reference when you're on, uh, on the interwebs. Uh, 14 inches here, and then of course that looks like 18 inches up top, but pretty darn tall up there. And then bolstered by that, you've got another nice, super deep medicine cabinet with adjustable shelves. Uh, this medicine cabinet is also seven inches deep. I mean, that is really impressive. In terms of its width, it's over 18 inches wide just at the opening. Uh, you'll also have two 110 outlets here. Those are your GFI grounded outlets. 
And then one of my favorite features about Renegade is the way that they do their sinks. There's no seam here to have to clean. One nice single faucet. Love the brush nickel. And then all new for 2023, this honeycomb tile in black is so sexy. And I love the sparkle gray countertop. I think it's really pretty. Um, it's definitely um, something that's going to not show dirt as much and look really classy. So great features there. You've got some longer, deeper drawers on the bottom. And then you've got a little bit more of a shallow drawer up top. All of these drawers are going to run you about 18 to 19 inches deep, closer to 19, but we'll go 18 in case you're buying stuff for them. Six inches wide and then about three and a half inches tall here versus this drawer, which is going to be about six and a half inches tall here. Now, a lot of you may be saying, why are you measuring? Well, if you're really in the market for this RV, this really helps to know where you can keep your towels, where you can keep your linens, how much space you actually have going throughout your RV. So I take great pride in helping people um, buy their RVs. And I get so many folks that say they've watched my videos over and over and over again because these measurements are so useful when you're really in the market for this product. And honestly, the storage in the Renegade and the construction is really what gives us a huge lead. You'll notice little things like this where they bolted in this washer and dryer. So you're not going to have rattling going down the road. And you can see these full extension drawers or doors make it very easy for you to load. Now, keep in mind, this is the narrowest part of this cabin. So when I'm going down the road in this coach, I can actually open these doors and change my laundry out from washer to dryer and get all of my laundry going while I'm going down the road. So super, super fantastic feature there. Also, as we mentioned earlier, if I wanna get ready in the morning, I have a third room that's available right here. So I can actually take this center area. So I've got one, two, three, four sections in this RV of separate space to get ready in the morning. So that's just a really nice feature. Another thing I really like about the Renegade product is the Firefly system. As you can see, I am running my climate control here. I also have my app lo loaded up so that I can see all of these same things, whether I'm using the, watching the gray and black and freshwater tanks, whether or not my generator's running, I can stop it and start it here. Um, I can operate all of my lights. So whether it be through the bedroom area, the front lighting area or exterior, I have all my power systems running here, thermostatic control, and then I can also operate my fans, my slides, my awnings. And then here is where I can get to the mobile app and I can do all of these same things that are on this screen on my phone. That is a huge, huge uh, advantage. Uh, and we'll look at how to do that later on. We'll actually go ahead and close the slides uh, from the outside of the coach. And one of the benefits of that is that when you are like, maybe parking late at night and you get down to a place where you're in a little bit of a tighter spot and you're not sure whether or not you're gonna hit the picnic table with that rear slide, you can actually stand outside and see what you're doing as opposed to wondering whether or not you're gonna run into something. So we like that feature a lot. Now, one of the best aspects of this 38 LDG is going to be the fact that you have this really huge Samsung to uh, television along with your really nice soundbar right here. And on top of that, all of the, your seating is gonna be here on the driver's side of the coach. So you'll see you've got really large booths. And this is definitely a place where Renegade tends to hold the market best. Um, cup holders, two 110 outlets. You've also got USB ports, type C ports. Um, you've got your seat belts over here. So all of this is set up so that while you're driving down the road, the kids can have their devices plugged in. They can have their pop. If you take a corner too tight, you don't have to worry about the soda skittering off onto the floor. But the other benefit, of course, is if I'm sitting down watching a movie, I can sit here. I've got two seats here or even three if I put that center armrest up and I can turn around both the passenger and driver's seat so everyone can get comfortable. Now, all that being said, when you turn around that uh, driver's seat and passenger seat, they're not going to be able to watch television. So if you're looking for a place where you can all sit around and watch TV, you've got at least two, three, four. Um, so, I mean, I guess six people could watch a movie in this coach really comfortably without having to, you know, really make any extra accommodations. And then, of course, you also have your ottoman as well. Um, that little ottoman, I have it facing up right now so that you can see this nice flat surface. Um, I have these in my Superstar. They're not quite as nice. This is a really solid table. 
And what's good about that is when I have the cushion out, it's comfortable, but this super steady table here is actually really great for putting beverages on or any kind of snacks. And of course, it's very useful um, for being able to get comfortable. Now you could order a second one. This coach just comes with the one, but we would be more than happy to provide a second one if this is your purchase and you like to have two. I think I'd like to have two. I have two in my Superstar. We use them all the time. Uh, what we don't have though, look at how comfy this is with my armrest and my pillow and my drink holder and my little flat surface here. And then if I have a bunch of people with me, I can still put this up and have the benefit of having three folks sitting on the couch. I also again have three seat belts here and two back here. So that's giving me a total of seven seat belts in this coach. Now, of course, with seven seat belts, where do you sleep everybody? Well, this is a queen size bed. This is a 60 inch sleeper. And then up here, we have another full size bed above the uh, cab. So this is a cab over bunk. And what's really impressive about this is how big it really is. So I wanted to bring my measuring tape. So this was just released uh, last year. It was the first year that we offered a cab over bunk in a Verona LE. It has been a hugely popular uh, package because not only can you use it for sleeping, which is a great use of it, but you can also use it for uh, storing things. So this is 55 inches deep. And I know what it is across, but I wanna just verify that I'm correct. Always better to say, I don't know, than to give bad information. All right, so, and then we're 76 inches long. So super, super huge sleeping accommodation. And you'll note that there's also a separate television up here as well. So you can actually have the curtain drawn all the way across. The kids can be up here watching their own movie. They also have a little cubby here. What I really like about this cubby is it again has those two 110 outlets in there along with the type C uh, charger and the USB port. And it's not as uh, sticking out so the pillows won't knock the charger out in the middle of the night because we all know what happens when our 14 year olds don't have cell coverage or don't have uh, cell phones because their charger didn't work. They take your phone. So by allowing your children to charge their phones completely, you can re retain use of your own phone the whole entire time you're camping. How weird is that? I mean, but it's true, right? Okay, so does this close? I know I get this a lot. Um, people will say, can you close the shade? And I always have to go, oh gosh, yes. I forget to show it. So here's this closed. So super nice. If you do want to have that privacy, you can. And then keep in mind, these, these little cushions here are completely removable. So if you just want to use this for storage up here, the storage space that you would have uh, for totes and the like is going to be 30 inches deep at a minimum. And then the height here uh, at the highest point. And if anyone tuned in about an hour ago, you saw Teresa Crawley's video. So, hey, Teresa, thanks for letting me borrow your tape measure. This is uh, 27 inches to the roof right there. So lots of room for big totes. So even if you don't have people sleeping up here, if you wanna keep your fishing supplies, tackle boxes, maybe you're a team that does, uh, I don't know, hockey, um, baseball, any of those things, you can keep everything up here. Golf bags, I mean, whatever you don't wanna to have to store underneath, great storage up here as well. And then of course, it's got this handy dandy ladder, uh, which goes ahead and you can hang that up right here. So it does have a mounting point that's right there in the middle of the coach, easy to access. Okay, so again, this sound bar has blue writing underneath this little mesh cover. So when you sync your phone to it, you can put your playlist on or you can play your television. It's a really great sound bar. I love that aspect of this coach. I also like that they were able to move uh, this panel into a cabinet in the corner so it's actually opened up our space in the kitchen typically renegade has put these in the kitchen space uh, but because they've moved it on this 38 ldg uh, you can actually have extra set of drawers which is super nice um, this is going to be where we have all of our telematics set up so you have everything pre-wired you've got your coax cable you have your hdmi cord you have your your blu-ray player um, there's actually some extra outlets in here so if you wanted to set up 
your PlayStation 5, you could do that in here as well. And then this little shelf down here would be a great place to keep controllers. And I know we're camping, we don't need to have our, our uh, PlayStations with us, but really when it's raining or if there's just nothing to do because maybe it's just sweltering hot outside, it might be nice to be able to come in here and play some video games with the kids. Um, all that being said, as I mentioned, I love that they've tucked everything away in this corner. So you've got all of your breaker boxes, um, all of your telematics, all in one nice area. And of course, in this LDG, you have so much extra shelving throughout this coach. They've really made great use of this space. Now this little cabinet here is where your hydronic heat is coming out. So just so that we're clear on this, hydronic heat means that there's actually a line of uh, antifreeze going underneath the coach. It can be run off of your electric system or it can be run off of your burner system. This coach has a 100 gallon fuel capacity. Uh, this is the 450D, so this is the bigger hydronic unit. It runs that tank of, or that boiler system with that tube of antifreeze. The boiler heats up the antifreeze, pushes the tube around the coach, and then it pushes the air over and out of these vents. And you'll see these are throughout the kitchen, like they're over here on the right. Um, next to the refrigerator, they're over here. They're also underneath the washer and dryer, giving you nice, quiet heat throughout the coach. I think I'm standing on my sweater. I've got my long duster on. It's my uh, Easter slash renegade outfit. You guys have to tune in and tell me how I did with all of these things. Oh, and by the way, please be nice. These are, like, no kidding, like live, uncut videos. Everything that we say here, we have to know. And on that note, I think that on... Um, the note of shopping for an RV, if you want to come into an organization that has the most fluent and well-versed educated staff available out there in the marketplace, there is no better place to shop uh, for an RV than here at TransWest. We have people like Mark Love and Grant, Teresa, Bill Hurtado, Dean Jones, all of these fantastic human beings um, giving presentations. Oh my gosh, Brad Nurhus with his Prevovit uh, presentations. I mean, these guys can't just do this um, because, you know, there's a script and we're cutting and editing and walking through and asking questions. We know our products. All of that being said, another great benefit to us is that if you buy your RV, uh, we have a three hour uh, window for your walkthrough and orientation. If it takes a little bit longer, we're always flexible. If it takes a little less time, that's fine too. Because when you're done, we actually bring your vehicle down. We park it down here in our campground. Jody might be able to pop out the window and show that. I have a client there who's actually taking driving classes today. Oh no, the superstar is gone. Uh, but so you can see we have all sorts of uh, space down there. We can plug into 50 amp. And when we get down there, you actually have uh, the staff available to come down and make sure that if you've got any questions or something's not working quite right, maybe you little, need a little more explanation, you can stay here for a few days and really get your sea legs on before you're expected to get on the road and get out there and go camping. And that's a huge advantage to anybody in this market. Um, you know, one of the things I found in working here is that this job is super easy because of Barbara and George and the way that they've given uh, their general manager, Andrew, my boss, Brian, um, governess to be able to really take care of their clients. Um, I know that that sounds crazy, but there are a lot of corporate entities out there that just don't do uh, what TransWest can do. So if I can tell you again, like one of the best reasons to buy an RV from TransWest is because of the organization itself, not just these fantastic products that we're blessed to carry. Um, okay, all that being said, take a look. Counter depth here is super crazy. 33 inches at the, at the largest point, 26, almost 27 inches at the most narrow point. And then in terms of overall length, this is one of the best selling features of the LDG. You have 66 inches of counter space on this coach. Uh, you have this really nice deep sink. Of course, we have the residential faucet with spray and pour. We also have our kitchen window with our day and night shade so everyone can get some shut eye if necessary. And again, this is that Firefly system, the Vega Touch Mira system which we'll be using later on today. I love, again, this new black honeycomb that we have here on the back of the coach. And then in terms of the interior, uh, this is the Harbor interior. So the Harbor has these really nice soft grays, as you can see, um, kind of a grayish taupe colored uh, couch uh, or dinette system. And then 
The kitchen also has really big storage. So I'm gonna pull one of these out. These are the cushions that you would use to make the bed. But this just gives you an example as to how deep this cabinet really is. I mean, that is so much storage underneath. Now we use this for our dishes on one side and we use it for telematics on the other. So we keep our laptops, our charging cords, all of those things on either side of the coach. Uh, when making breakfast, it's usually pretty easy to pull out a drawer, get the plates or bowls out. Um, and of course, if we're outside and there's a lot of people who are using paper plates, but we really do like to use our, um, our, our uh, nice hard dishes, those beautiful plastic dishes you get from Walmart. Take a look at all of this pantry space. Again, full extension. Um, I love the way Renegade does things. These latches, like it's really simple. It's either latched or it's not latched. I was test driving a Supreme Air the other day and the refrigerator came open on the test drive. And so there certainly is a benefit to having things be invisible, but the benefit to making them visible is that you can tell when they're closed. That way you know it's not gonna come out while you're going down the road. So we love that feature. Um, above the door here, great place to keep any kind of umbrellas, bug spray, suntan lotion, anything that you need at the last minute. You've also got your extra, uh, we can control our awnings with the app or with the wall control, but we also have an extra awning control up here as well as an extra 110 outlet. Um, in terms of this 18 cubic refrigerator, once again, locked is red. Blue is open. We've got rid of the handles in 2021. Um, and so it's really nice. You don't have to worry about getting a, a hipper. You know, you don't want to get a hipper when you walk by, huh, Jody? <laughs> uh, so this is a great uh, refrigerator, ton of room, very flexible space. And then again, red is closed, blue is open. Makes it really easy to see. Lots of deep storage here. And then of course you've got your ice maker. Uh, this coach does have the whole house water filter as well. Um, I did print out the window sticker. I always take a ton of notes. I also have the brochure. Uh, one thing I should mention, new for this year, uh, we are also offering a, oh, this is by the way, this is Snowdrift with bunk. That's the color that we're in right now. We have an anthracite in inventory currently. Uh, the Maritime is beautiful, Rouge is very popular, Latte is gorgeous, but there's five different paint options on this coach. But also there's a 37 uh, foot coach available uh, this year with three slides. So that's a nice new feature. For those of you looking for these shorter lengths, Renegade offers four floor plans in the LE, two of which are 40 feet, two inches long. Uh, this one's 37.2 and this one's 38.2. These two coaches have a 285 inch wheelbase, which is a really great, nice, hardy wheelbase, giving you lots of support under those rear doors. Um, okay, so, oh, we didn't convert the bed yet. Let's make the bed and then we'll go outside. Poor Jody, every time he sees me, he's like, so how long are we gonna be today? And I'm like, oh, you know, probably an hour, Jody, probably an hour. Uh, but again, for those of you who like shorter videos, I do have other co-workers who don't tend to like these longer uh, demonstrations but for me if i was really in the market for an rv i'd want to see how everything worked um, and since i actually got this job as a consumer so i bought an rv here that's how i ended up working here um, i approach this position in the same way i would like to be sold to so when i was out there doing my research i watched a ton of videos i loved matt's videos I emailed him and I called him. He didn't get back to me. I will get back to you. Um, but Matt, if, you, if you're there, if you're watching three things I like, three things I don't, you were the inspiration to my career. So thank you so very much. Um, okay, so big, full extension, high to bed with adjustable feet. Make sure you're all nice and comfy. Bam, take a look at that. This is super good. This is really nice. This is what you get when you get into the LE model. You get the regular Verona is a fantastic price point, but it has a trifold, which is also very comfortable. But if you put your mom on this bed or your son and daughter and your grandkids up here, they would be super stoked. In fact, they might want to go camping with you all of the time. So I don't know if you want to tell them about this bed. <laughs> no, if I can get my kids to go with me, 
I do it. In fact, on that note, happy birthday, Stella Rose. She turned 15 yesterday. We did our first drive throughout the neighborhood. So we, we went on our first, we got our permit. We did our first test drive. Thanks to Brian and Andrew for letting me get off work a little early so I could take her out and get her driving. I explained to them when she's driving, I won't have to pick her from high school. So this is actually in your best interest. All right, so these cabinets here are again, super crazy roomy, about 17 and a half inches to the little lip on the inside. Uh, the openings are gonna be 15 inches, actually call it 16, but there's this little like lip thing here. So the, from lip to lip, it's about 14 and a half inches. And then the height, I'd say you've got height clearance of about seven and a half inches. And then all the way down, Jody, I don't know if I'm this talented. Let's see if I can do this. Woohoo! 73 inches times two, 146 inches of storage above this couch. Holy macaroni. Now, all of that being said, this is a great place to do those shoe boxes that you get and you can just get a label maker and start from A and go to Z. So if you happen to be at like B, you might be at batteries. Uh, you might be at O for outdoor supplies, like maybe like your picnic tables, those little clampy things that you get, the citronella candles, however you want to organize it though, because then you can just go according to where you would be in the alphabet. It's so much easier that way. I should probably put this back, huh? Hey guys, when you come in to test drive this, um, this is an L9, right? Ooh, see that Canyon Star? That's a garage model uh, Canyon Star. We've got four of those out by Numar this year. You can actually put your side by side. Only a two seater in the back of that thing. Uh, super cool. Anyway, um, when you come in to test drive this, this is the L9. This is gonna be a 100 uh, gallon fuel capacity, a 1,150 uh, foot pounds of torque. So really big torque, I'm sorry, 1,100 foot pounds of torque, not 50. 1,100 foot pounds of torque, 20,000 pound towing capacity, um, and this is a coach that if you are looking to really be able to pull a trailer behind you, if you've got a larger boat, if you've got any kind of, uh, like maybe you've got a bigger truck, like a lot of people have F-150s because they can put the bikes in the back and have the F-150. This coach is gonna make it feel very easy to get up and down the, the hills. So we love that aspect of it. Um, here in the kitchen, we're gonna go back to space. Very rarely do you find an RV that you can fit an entire full-size uh, garbage can. Look at this great shelf space. What a nice place to be able to keep extra supplies. And then here again, full extension drawers. And because they moved all of the electronics into this little corner here, we have five drawers here. So hot pads, uh, you know, spatulas, uh, frying pans, whatever it is that you want to keep in here, you have so much room and then up underneath your really big beautiful samsung um, microwave and convection oven um, by the way i love the way they're doing these this year we have these like they have these little stoppers they're so much quieter when i'm test driving <laughs> i always have to go in so i literally like on my coach i keep my um oh, i didn't do a very good job huh um, I keep my uh, dish towels between my metal racks in there because it's so rattly. So that's just super nice. They have little stoppers. Again, microwave and convection. And then below that microwave and convection oven, you have the true induction. This is a truly spectacular uh, feature of most of your high-end RVs. You can put a paper towel down on top of this burner. You can turn it on to high boil water and you're going to boil water at about a third of the time as you, you would over a propane uh, stove uh, and it's also not going to catch that paper towel on fire so in other words if you want to let little susie make you some eggs for breakfast she's not going to burn the rv down how's that um also a nice room back here if you want to put your coffee pot um so figure this if this was a coffee pot it would fit really well right here between these two burners and you've got your 110 outlet right there as well so super love that. Let's make sure, oh, did I open these? I didn't open these, huh? Sorry, extra glassware and dishes, I would say would be a good place for that. Oh, I am, I'm up and running. Searching for a signal. I always wanna make sure I have my signal while I'm still inside the RV in case I need to repair. 
Sometimes I'll be walking around and my app will stop working. But like here's a screen for leveling. So you can see I could do all of my leveling from this. And I, I push up, this is my menu screen down below. And I say, oh, it got me with the update. I didn't mean to hit OK for the update. OK, well, while we're waiting for the update, we're going to go ahead and close the front slides. We're still going to use the, fa the, fa or the app for the back slide just to show you how that works. Um, but the reason we're going to close these front slides while we're in the coach is um, Renegade is so good at walking space. There is so much room uh, between the slides uh, on the LE. Even when the front, even when the front two slides are closed. Now keep in mind uh, the Verona versus the Verona LE. Things like all tile floors. So you're seeing Jody standing on top of this beautiful uh, porcelain tile floor. Uh, that's a standard feature in the LE. The 450 Aqua Hot is also a standard feature in the LE. Um, there's there's a few nice features. The third slide, that is a standard feature in the LE. So those are kind of the differences between the two products. In terms of build quality, um, they both have the 8.9 liter uh, or 8.9 liter L9 Cummins. Uh, they're both going to be built on the Freightliner M2 106 chassis. They're both going to have 360 horsepower, 1,100 foot-pounds of torque, 20,000 pound towing capacities. They're both going to have 150 gallon uh, water tanks, two 200, or, I'm sorry, two 75 gallon gray and black water tanks. So there's a lot of similarities, um, and then there's a lot of cool differences too. It just depends on what your budget is, um, but I'll tell you, either way, when you're looking at a Super C, you've got to make sure you've driven a Renegade before you buy anything else, 100%. Okay, so as you can see here, we've got our courtesy lights lit. I'm going to go ahead and turn all the lights off, and I'm going to turn on our courtesy lights. And the reason I'm going to do that is because I think that one of the best uh, features that we have in this coach is gonna be the fact that we have all of these nice uh, little light systems that you can really, uh, let's see, accent, reading, no, ceiling, floor, toilet, bedroom, floor. Ah, yeah, there we are, we're on floor lights. So we call these floor lights. So all of these nice little lights that you have uh, down below, you can have these on and you can see that there's just like this nice soft glow. So if you do have littles that are gonna be camping in an unfamiliar space, I think it's really important to understand that both Numar and Renegade do a better job than anybody else at actually having um, really nice light controls where you can just turn certain things on and off. Um, like the accent lights that you can see just throughout here. So you can get this nice soft glow uh, throughout the coach at night so you don't have that have that garish lighting so again um, some people integrate them into the countertops I think Renegade does a, a good job at being maybe a little more classy if you will okay so down here we'll see uh, if you need to use your boost your chassis battery boost you have to hold this button down while you're turning the ignition key definitely one of the only things I would change just because you have to have two people or tape Grant Russell told me you just use tape this is to lock the step so that it doesn't close when you're in place. This is gonna be your house battery disconnect. And then you've got all these little panels. And again, you don't really need those because your panels are all gonna be here on your phone as long as you're not doing an update. Hopefully this will go away. <laughs> it's kind of annoying. Let me see if I close it and open it up again. Do, 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 do. Jody's like, hey, my arm. Finishing up the, oh, it might be working. Ooh, okay, so just so you know, um, there it is. Here's our update. So everything's done. So now we're synced in. Oh, before we go outside, Jody, stay there. Don't come out here, Jody. I want to show them this screen. Um, it's magnetic. I love that. So you've got this magnetic screen, but look at this. You know where the kick point is, where it gets uh, like all damaged down below? They put this nice little plate down there instead, which I think is fantastic. Okay, you can come out now. On his way out, he's gonna show you this really cool step well. Oh, I turned all the lights off. Hold on, let me turn the lights back on. Lights on. There it is, look at that, Verona LE. 
So that lights up where you store your flip-flops and where you store your slippers down below on these steps. I absolutely love this aspect of this coach. Okay, another Ellie feature worth mentioning. You get the handle, but more importantly, you get the keypad to open your coach. This is a nice feature because then you don't have to bring your keys. You can just go ahead and lock your RV. And instead of having to have your keys, you can go out canoeing or whatever it is that you might be doing. We're a huge paddle boarding family without worrying about having your keys fall into the water. Okay, so what does Renegade do better than anybody else? This part right here, this is so grippy. It's such a cool looking uh, step plate into this cab. Now again, this M2106 chassis is so fantastic. Freightliner is so good at making this easy to get into. You have all these anchor points so that when you grab, you can get in. These are also air ride seats. So I have this one fully inflated. You've got armrests on both sides. In 2023, we have an upgraded uh, interior. All the couches, everything has been upgraded, but the driver's seats are super sexy and fantastic. We love them. Um, lots and lots of room up here. And we'll go over the cab when we get around to the other side. Uh, but here we'll see that you've got your, uh, you've got saddle tanks. They're 250 gallon saddle tanks offering you 100 gallons of fuel. But again, I just love, I have grip tape. Numar, can you just, can we get vanity mirrors, a hook in my bathroom, and then can we not have grip tape? I mean, I'm just saying. Okay, so side camera, right? So when you turn left and right, you can see a diamond shield up here on my, you can see that up here on my fenders and on my, on my uh, hood. So keeping me from getting rock chips, very easy access to my windshield washer fluid, my air dryer filter. Everything is super, super accessible. I can make sure I've got enough of everything before I hit the road. One of the benefits to, of course, getting a super C is not only uh, engine access though, but also frontal impact. So on that note, if I was to close this, which is pretty easy to do, you'll see I've got a three piece bumper here with integrated fog lamps. And I've also got my uh, on guard uh, collision mitigation system. This is gonna allow me to follow the vehicle behind me and to set my speed. And then up here, I've got my little camera and I have my lane tracking package, which is gonna tell you if I'm out of the lane. Uh, it's also very bossy. I have my gigantic 22 and a half inch Bridgestone tires up here. These are uh, really, really nice because this is your first defense against uh, all those bumps in the road. These are 295, uh, 75, and then again, radius 22 and a half Bridgestone, super heavy duty tires. Uh, take a look at all the storage under this coach. So again, this is only a 38 uh, foot coach, but tons and tons of storage room. Um, another nice thing about this RV is going to be, uh, there's little puck lights in all of these. So you'll have interior lights. This is going to be just over 27, almost 28 inches deep. And then in terms of the width on the inside of this, you are at 40, uh, 40 and a half inches. But another nice feature of Renegade is the way that they do these double uh, sealed doors. So you've got double locking mechanisms. This door is just about 40 and a half inches wide. Um, I get asked that a lot because I think a lot of people actually are trying to figure out whether or not they can load their coach inside of their bays. Another 40 and a half inch wide door. Uh, this, uh, this bay in particular has a grommet that runs through here so you can actually unscrew this and it has two 110 outlets out here. So if you wanted to be able to plug something in and run it out of the RV, you could run it here. Nice big Samsung television with a sound bar once again. Uh, this is a great location. It's dripping water down my arm, awesome. Uh, <laughs> there's also a charging port in here as well for uh, two USB ports. So if you wanna get your phone charged out here and just use a sound bar and listen to little Jimi Hendrix while you're camping, you can. Look at Jody, I did it myself. He's so proud of me. I always make him close this. That's, this I can reach this one. Um, okay, we talked about the Aqua Hot 450D. Here's your bigger Aqua Hot unit. If you've mentioned that you've watched this video, I will give you a gallon of this juice. You definitely wanna have Aqua Hot juice while you are going down the road. If you don't have enough juice, your hydronic heat won't work and you won't have hot water. Of course, this has got an endless hot water system. If you're plugged into a sewer, fresh water and 50 amp, you could take a shower all day long. And sometimes if we've had a few too many of those, like, you know, black and tans around the campfire, 
it's nice to take a nice long shower. Just saying. Okay, so another 295, 75, 22 and a half inch wheel. As you can see, this one's got the Innie. The one in the front has the Audi. That's because these are your forward pulling wheels and those are the ones that turn. Uh, of course, there's no twin screw on the LEs. If you already get to the twin screw, we're gonna get up into that XL model. Um, I'm gonna be at uh, Renegade uh, this coming uh, week. So if anyone has any requests or has any pictures that they'd like me to uh, send to them in terms of uh, information, just get in touch with me. Let me know what I can do and I would be more than happy to take pictures of any of the interiors that you'd like to see, uh, any of the wood colors, all of those things, because uh, I will be there at the factory. Okay, so take a look at this. This is so much storage. For those of you who like to go fishing, for those of you who have paddleboard paddles, this is literally five feet deep. Now it's not that high, but the clearance is actually pretty impressive of over seven and a half inches. And then the, the width of this door, this is their longest door. So this is gonna be 52 inches. So I go ahead and call that entrance probably 48 inches, maybe, maybe 49. Uh, you've got your slide locks. Also that airline will allow you to uh, fuel up or not fuel up, fill up any of your tires. And then since we're not inside the coach any longer, uh, hopefully I can still get this. I want black. All right, here is your, uh, oh, I didn't show the central vac. It's in the coach, it's underneath the bed. Um, but what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna hit my little up arrow here. I'm gonna go over here to my power and I'm gonna turn my generator off. And that's an eight kilowatt quiet diesel generator, but of course standing outside of the coach, it's not quite as quiet as you like it to be. So. I just turned it off with my app. Uh, there's some extra tile. Of course, we've got the reversible ball for your hitch. Again, 20,000 pound towing capacity. And then those are the little tubes you have to vacuum out the inside of your coach. Or if you're using your intervac system, you can go ahead and plug them in up there and vacuum off your husband or your dog, whoever's more dirty. Um, this little guy here is nice. You'll notice that this whole fiberglass end cap is super sexy. Um, it's one of the best things I think about the Renegade Verona is the way it's styled. Um, I love this snowdrift uh, paint job. It's really, really quite beautiful. Um, it's probably my favorite, maybe anthracite. I don't know. I like both of them an awful lot. Um, but you can really see it. I'm sorry I've got my awning extended with my lights on and all that stuff. I wanted to show that today. Hopefully, uh, when you tune in, you saw that beauty shot of this snowdrift paint job. Uh, but it's really nice to actually have this fantastic weather where we don't have to have the awning in because it always gets, you know, it has a bounce sensor, so it always pulls in. Um, but so back to this nice fiberglass end cap, you've got your LED lights, you've got your rear view backup camera, you've got again your 20,000 pound uh, hitch with your seven pin connector already pre-wired, your Voyager camera systems already pre-wired, and you have your airline, uh, which would come in right underneath. There's two little holes to put it through. So if you need to have a ping tank installed or any kind of tow package, it's all set up to do that. Very, very tidy. Um, but this bumper is separate from this end cap. So if you have a little oopsie, we can fix that for you. We do a lot of uh, fixing of RVs around here. Uh, we have a full-fledged body shop. Uh, we have a whole bunch of things that make uh, buying an RV from TransWest fantastic. We're gonna go ahead and uh, take our slides and we're gonna take our rear slide. And put this in. So once again, if you're in one of these little tight areas and you're getting out of your coach late at night and you know, the kids are sleeping, your wife's getting everyone ready for bed and you need to come out and make sure you can put your bedroom slide out. You can do that with this app. You can actually stand outside and extend or retract your awning or your slides and your awning for that matter without having to be in the coach so you can see where it's going. Here you've got a 36 foot power cord reel. Uh, there's also a 110 outlet in here and a surge protector. One of the nice things though about this power cord is although it's not as long as some others, its placement is really nice. It's very much in the best spot possible in the coach. It's in the way back, which usually gives you the best access to get plugged in. Again, here's our eight kilowatt quiet diesel generator. Uh, you can also start this from your app. You can start from the wall panel inside. And then there's a manual start here as well as your generator hours. And so that's super easy to access. 
nice docking lights out here. You can control those with the app as well. And then of course we have our whole house water filter. You've got your water spigot. And then you can see this little guy here would be what you would put your gravity, uh, your gravity tank, I'm sorry, your gravity hose. But this actually has the flow jet system. So you could just keep the backup hose that comes in the coach right in there. And then as you can see, all of this is actually uh, etched in with a water jet to the uh, water panel. So you don't actually have to worry about having it wash off. You'll always know where your black tank wash is. You always know where your gray and black tank dunks are, your fills. Everything will always be very easy to read. And then your hose reels also power for your water hose reels right there as well. That just pulls out, it's back here, but this little guy. So super nice, very convenient, um, and very efficient use of space. That's a tiny little water bay that does a lot. Again, this is your flow jet system here. This is just another extra macerator. So you've got one going in, one going out, helping to suck the poop out of your RV. Jody's smiling like, God, Katie, that is like one of your best lines ever. <laughs> now he's shaking his head. Just in case you can't see that. The best thing about Jody shaking his head though is the camera does not move. Um, so these are the gray and black tanks. Again, 12 volt uh, strips on those, keeping them nice and warm. Here you'll notice that we have our 3000 uh, inverter. It's a little Victron, Victron 3000 inverter. This is going to be the thing that's giving you all of your power. And then this coach has two uh, AGM batteries in it, which I can't get to right now. Hold the horses. Let's just get in here. Do, 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 do. No wonder Avon hadn't opened it up yet. So these are uh, gonna give you about 540 amp hours of battery service. And then you also have your chassis batteries right here as well. So super easy system. And then this is where that airline comes in to be able to fill up all of your, uh, all of your tires. Now my first uh, Renegade had 300 amp hours of AGM batteries on them. It's more than enough. Um, those compartments, if you wanted to upgrade to like a Dragonfly system, you certainly could do that with this coach as well. Your def tank is right here, six gallons. Another 50 gallon saddle tank. Plug in here for your engine block heater. And here's where you would have your chassis disconnect. And then right here is where you have your seat, uh, air seat. Um, now we'll go ahead and we'll put this back in here. Jody, if you wanna meet me around the other side, I'm gonna go ahead and open the door for you. We are gonna take a look at some of the features on this coach. First of all, look at those big, sexy chrome mirrors. Really easy to see out of this coach going down the road. Um, for those of you that are a little bit intimidated about driving an RV, this is definitely the easiest driving vehicle. Um, I will not give it the best grade for turning radiuses. Class A's with tag axles tend to be a little bit better. Uh, but for those of us that are concerned about having something that's going to be enough room for the family, that's still going to be um, easy to drive, the Super C is definitely the best in the marketplace. So you can see here, we have our camera system with predictive grid lines. That's a really nice feature. You've got your Garmin navigation system. Again, this is gonna be uh, your Wabco with, again, your camera uh, and your, uh, your distance tracker. This will turn red when you're too close and it will beep at you and tell you to back up. It's pretty cool. Um, docking lights, your lane alert, you can turn on and off. This little regen button is just cleaning off your diesel particulate filter. You don't really need to run that. Uh, you can adjust the height of your hitch up and down here. You also have a standard TPMS sensor in this coach. Uh, this is to turn on that, we, we showed you in the back there where you hit that Voyager camera system that's right there. A little plug in if you wanna be able to access auxiliary right here into this computer or I guess navigation system. A nine volt for your, uh, your radar detector because of course we're all going 105 down the road in our Renegade. Better not be. Um, your hydraulic leveling system by Equalizer. Again, all of this is gonna be available here on your uh, app. So when you push these little buttons, you have access 
to be able to see all the things that you're doing here on this little app here. It makes a huge difference. Power windows, heated mirrors, lock and unlock. This is gonna be your trailer brake control, your parking brake, engine brake high, low, off is right here. So if you don't have this on, you won't have an engine brake. Fog lamps, Allison six speed control. Um, of course, this is a standard transmission in terms of the industry. It's just in everything because it's so solid. Uh, really nice, easy to read dash. Uh, as you can see here, you've got your def gauges right up here. You don't ever have to worry about toggling through to find anything. Of course, this is a super simple. You can set all your cruise control here. You've got your parking lights, increase and de decrease your speed, your turn signals. Um, they make a nice sound. They're not annoying, but they're loud enough. And then when you want someone to get out of your way, it's super simple. Now we're gonna watch me get out of this coach and I'm gonna show you how easy this is. Um, oh, Jody, you have to go the other way because you're gonna see how easy this is, right? So for those of you that are concerned, not only do you have your mid entry, but you also have the ability to go down this way and then I can hold on here. And as you can see, even in high heeled boots, super easy to get in and out because of all of the grab handles. So again, this is a super sexy, Snowdrift exterior on the Verona LE. Um, this M2106 chassis gives you great prowess going down the road, a badass look in the parking lot, and a really, really nice, convenient camper uh, with a lot of class for those of you who are looking out to get there on the road and camping. Uh, again, my name is Katie O'Neill. You can always reach out to me at 303-562-8659. Again, 303 five six two eight six five nine i will be at the factory next week taking pictures if you've got questions about this available rv or any of our other available rvs you'll see there's a supreme air over there there's a superstar We've got a ton of stuff let me know how i can help get you out on the road and camping and thank you so much for tuning in with us today see you next time